Hello everyone. I am Uma Priya, working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering in Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. So in this session, I am going to discuss about structure of a C program. Before seeing the structure of, structure of a C program, we have to know what is a C program. So now, what is a C program? A C program is called as a structure oriented programming language. Why? Because in C program, every instruction is followed with a predefined structure. That is, we have a syntax. We have to follow the syntax while writing a C program. So that's why C is called as a structured programming language. This C is also called as a function oriented programming language because each and every executable statement of a C language is written inside a specific function, especially main. So this C is also known as a function oriented programming language. Now we will see the structure of a C program, how to write a C program. So the C program has the first session as a documentation session which is written inside a comment line and the next session or the structure in the C program is pre-processing statements and the third session of the C program is global declaration and comes the main method where all our executable statements will be written and the last session of the C structure is user defined functions where we have we will be using the executable statements in idea user defined functions so we will see one by one in the forthcoming slides so the first session in your structure of c program is a documentation session so what is this documentation session so this is used to give a brief introduction of the program so when a third person look in, into this program once he he views this documentation session he can understand what this program is about so this gives an introduction part of the program this is return inside the comment line this slash star documentation star slash so this is what the comment line here is so whatever statement i'm writing inside the comment line will not be executed by the compiler so this documentation section will also not be executed by the compiler so this is an optional part in our programming language and comes the next session which is the pre-processing statements so what is this pre-processing statements these pre-processing statements includes all the header files library files whichever we want to include in our c program we have we will be writing it as a pre-processing statements so this is used to link the header files and all the defined constants etc now every preprocessor statement starts with a hash symbol each preprocessor statement tells the compiler to perform the required preprocessing functions before the actual compilation so we have some set of preprocessing statements so the here i have in this slide i have given some examples for preprocessing statements hash include hash define hash and def hash if def hash if n def hash if hash else hash else if hash end if hash error so hash pragma these are some of the pre-processing statements that we will be using inside a c language now next comes the global declaration 
so what is this global declaration as the name specifies global in the sense it is universe it can be used anywhere so here also i'm going to declare in c program we will be declaring some of the variables as a global variables and those variables which are defined as a global variables will be used anywhere in the program so this is this part is used to declare the variables which are common for multiple methods so not only the variables we can also declare enumeration structure union user defined methods many more as a global declaration part so this is also an optional part of the c language and next comes the main part of the c program which is nothing but our main method so main method is most important as it says a main so this is the compulsory part for any c program so without main method the program will not get executed and the program will starts its execution only from the main function so c language is a function oriented programming language as we discussed in first slide itself every program or every statement in the c program must be written inside a function so every c program must have a main function so this is also a user defined method which specifies the starting point of program execution so every program execution starts with the main method and end, ends with the main method itself now comes the user defined part so this user defined methods or the uh, functions defined by the user so we can write the actual code in this part also user defined methods can be implemented either before or after the main method if suppose i'm going to implement this user defined method after the main method then i have to write a declaration of that user defined method before the main method that means if suppose i'm going to use a function which is defined by the user after the main part of the c program then i have to declare i have to tell that i'm going to use a method called so and so which which has to be declared before the main method if suppose i'm going to implement the method before the main part main part of the c program then declaration is can be ignored so this is an example of this c language so this gives uh, uh, this this program prints hello world so the, as we discussed this is the documentation section so this documentation section is uh, written within the command line and it tells you uh, the introduction of the program so here i'm going to print hello world so i have written program to print a message hello world and next part is the preprocessor statements so i'm going to include a header file stdio.h which includes all the input output header files needed for my program and here i am not going to use any global declaration so i have left that empty and next comes the main method void main of here just i have written print hello world so this function is going to print hello world as my output and also i am not going to you not going to use any user defined part here so i have left that also as empty so what are the rules for writing a c program so uh, we have discussed about the structure of the c program now we have some set of rules to write a c program so every program must contain exactly one main method we should not use multiple main method you ha we have to use only one one main method and all our executable statements will be written inside a function so every executable statement must end with a semicolon and all the system defined words it is called as a keywords must be used in lower case every uh, program must have a open bracket if i have a open bracket it must have a respective close bracket so the variables must be declared in the declaration se section before they are used so this is about the structure of the c program hope 
uh, this video will be useful for you. Thank you.